Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Katia. For those of you who do, welcome back. So for today's video, it's been a crazy couple of weeks. I've actually been sick, so it's been hard for me to do DIYs or even film for you guys. So I thought I would do a haul of all of the things that I've bought throughout the month. Now that I'm feeling better, I am also working on revamping the basement. If you've been following me for a while, you have probably seen my basement. I felt as though it was never finished and there are things that I still wanted to work on and tweak and fix. So that's going to probably be next video. Maybe not the next video, the one after. Maybe the next video will be a DIY because I'm also working on a wall art that's going to go downstairs in the basement as well. So maybe the DIY and then after the basement makeover. Anyway, stay tuned for that. But as of right now, I wanted to put out a video and maybe just share some of the pieces that I got throughout the month. That's what today's video is going to be all about. I didn't go out. I didn't go thrift shopping. These are things that I went either to the flea market. I bought on Facebook marketplace. So I'm going to do what I normally do. Start off with the home decor first and then move my way into the accessories or clothing, fashion. Actually, I'm going to start off with my first two pieces. I end up getting them from the same person. I end up finding them on Facebook marketplace and I just fell in love with them. So let me show you guys. So I'm gonna start off with the first piece. It is this gorgeous vessel. I fell in love with the look of it, the color, the worn look. I thought it was the perfect size. So like I, oh my God, <laughs> it's not time to break this. Since I'm redoing the basement, I thought that maybe on the coffee table, I'm going to show you the other one so maybe you guys can understand. So I thought this one and then the other one, which is a bit smaller, to put on the coffee table. If it's not going to work in the house, I'm probably going to sell them on Koakaya. I'm going to try it out, see if it works in my home. If it does, I'm going to keep them. If not, I'll put them up on the shop. So this is the other one here. I fell in love with the shape, the colors of it. I thought that they worked beautifully together. One next to each other, they're pretty heavy, so I'm trying to like lift them for you. This is this one. Look at the gorgeousness, the texture, the color. I loved the shape. With these two paired together on the coffee table, I think it's gonna look amazing. Fingers crossed. That leads me to my next piece. It is a huge piece. I told you I'm probably gonna be putting them on the coffee table. I end up finding a brand new coffee table on Facebook Marketplace. The lady that was selling it had two in stock. I ended up getting the one that was still brand new in the box and I fell in love with, first of all, the shape. I love that there was a raw wood. The coffee table that I had now is sort of a coffee table that is a simple wood coffee table. It was doing the job when my family would come over but I wasn't in love with it. So when I saw this one, I immediately was drawn to it. First of all, it is a huge coffee table. It's like six feet long. I love my Morris more pieces, my bigger the better. I love the two-tone color of the coffee table. I think it's gonna fit beautifully downstairs. When the family comes over or friends come over, we can toss things over and play games on there. So anyway, that was my first three pieces. Moving on to my next piece, I ended up finding this one at the thrift store. I got it. I believe a few weeks ago and I could not believe that someone got rid of this so it is this gorgeous if you want to call it a vase or a pot maybe a pot let's call it a pot I loved the color I love the detailing it had that raw finish look that I love I immediately saw maybe some sort of um, branches in there maybe also on the coffee table so it's between this pot and the two other ones I'm gonna see which one works better on the coffee table and and then I'm gonna work my way around it but I have options so that's always good so if the other two don't work then I'm gonna put them up in the shop and if they do work then I'm gonna keep them because I love them so much that's the hard part I tell you guys all the time when buying things for your shop I buy things that I love for my own home so that's the hardest part it's getting rid of it <laughs> and it's like you want to keep everything but at some point I need to get rid of it because it's just not good I just end up being a hoarder so anyway I end up paying it $30 which is pretty pricey for a thrift store but I mean look at the size of this pot it was sort of the month of vessels and vases and pots it was one of those months. So moving on to my next piece, I went to a flea market with my family and I end up finding this beautiful carpet and I sort of rolled it right now. So let me try to unroll, unroll it. 
So there was a lady at the flea market that was selling this beautiful rug and she told me that it's from Belgium. It was so beautiful. The colors, I thought it's either perfect for an entryway or you can even hang it like what she did is she, there's actually a wood dowel in the back and she never used it she just hung it up on the wall i think that that can be a beautiful wall art as well so you don't necessarily need to use it as a carpet or even put it in a frame in a really big frame i think that that can look so beautiful in someone's home this rug is going to be up on kuakaya at first i had bought it for me i thought it was beautiful i wanted it actually in my entryway I put it in the entryway and it's not working with the rest of the home. I thought that maybe since there was like a little bit of blue in my other carpet, I thought it would blend properly, but it didn't work. So sadly, it's not going to stay here with me, but I hope someone else will enjoy it as much as I do. I think it's such a beautiful rug. If you guys are interested, it'll be up in the shop. I'll leave the link down below for you guys. That's pretty much it for the home decor. I'm going to move on to the fashion accessories, beauty stuff. So I'm going to start off with these two. You've heard me talk about Coco La Vie in one of my previous videos and I absolutely loved this company. It's one of my fairy friends company and she makes all kinds of essential oils, body scrubs, body lotions, all of that good stuff. And I ended up getting two other essential oils. I got the Guava and I got the Beach Please and oh my gosh, you guys, oh, it is divine it is so good i love her essential oils they are all natural she hand makes them and they smell amazing i end up putting them in my diffuser i love to put it mix it in with my coconut oil i put a little bit in my hair just to give a little bit of my dreads a fresh smell and so i end up getting these two the other one that i end up getting last time was the copacabana and i love that one as well but i wanted to try different smells and see which one i love the most and they are my three favorites i haven't smelled them all but so far i am loving these three so the guava the beach please and the copacabana that leads me to my next products i end up also getting the butter the copacabana butter and then there's also the copacabana body scrub and they come with this cute little spoon here. So you have the body butter and then you have the scrub. So that is good for, you know, the days that I want to do my uh, self tanner. So I do the whole shaving, then I do the body scrub, then I hydrate myself and then I go ahead and do my self tanner. I love, love them. The smell is so beachy and it just feels very summery. They're so good. So anyway, if you guys are interested in her products, she has an online store. You guys can go check them out. They have so many other smells as well. These are my favorites, but I'm sure you will find the right smell for you. I'm more of that vanilla, fruity, beachy, very sweet smell so if you're like me then you will love these three and if you're also an essential oil freak like me then her prices are amazing the smell they're very um you put a couple drops in there and my whole room my whole home starts smelling amazing she also has candles candles are amazing not only for yourself but always such a great gift to give somebody or when you're going to someone's house instead of uh you know bringing wine i always love bringing candles as well um, I'm not a big wine drinker. I don't like alcohol. So to me, I just bring candles. So moving on to my next piece, I am actually wearing it. One of my gorgeous friends gifted me this beautiful coin necklace. So I don't know. Let me try to untangle it because I mixed it in with a whole bunch of necklaces. But it is this gorgeous coin necklace. You can either wear it, I say, on the gold side and then you can also flip it on the silver side so depending on how you want to wear it what you want to wear if you want to mix your metals wear it uh, all silver or mix them with the gold and the silver like I did today when my friend gifted me this I nearly had a heart attack but I fell in love with it immediately it had my name written all over it she knows me and I am so grateful for this gift the quality is beautiful I love it and it's sort of versatile you can wear it either silver or gold and that's always a plus I don't know some days I feel a little bit more silver and then some days I like to mix my metals I don't normally wear just gold and if I do I would say it's more in the winter time in the summertime I sort of love to either mix them together or just wear all silver so anyway that leaves me to my last piece I was again at the flea market with my mom and my sister we went actually inside the flea market since it was like one of those hot 
scorching days so we end up going inside and there was this boutique where there was all beautiful embroidered dresses from india there was jumpsuits there was skirts so i end up finding this gorgeous set when i saw it i knew i had to get it first of all it came in either a set of the pants or the top and there was also a dress so i was debating between the dress and the set but i thought the set i would get a lot more use out of it because it's an everyday thing that i can wear the dress i felt was a little bit more something that i have to have an event to go to or mind you i would probably wear it every day but i thought that the two-piece set i would get a lot more use out of it so let me show you what i mean so okay it is this gorgeous color green I don't know what color to call it. I think it's like a greenish yellow, a lime green. Let's just call it a lime green. And it has this beautiful embroidered detailing here. There was other colors, but for some reason, I thought the green was so different and so fun and so unique that I was just drawn to it. It also comes with a pair of pants. So they are these beautiful trousers and it has all the embroidery in the front it sort of also overlaps like as if it's like a, a skirt wrap around the pants which i thought was so fun and unique and i also loved the v shape right in the front here they're a little bit too big so you guys know with my sewing machine i'm just gonna tweak it to fit my body i always have trouble with my waist my waist is like the tiniest part of my body so it's always hard to have something that fits my waist so i'm having trouble with the waist but it's an easy fix i'm so used to it that i'm going to sew a little bit so that it fits just right and then you guys know i love to show my midsection i tried this on as the top thing like this and i thought i was drowning in the fabric so what i'm probably gonna do i'm gonna cut it and make it into a more crop top in the back there's a tie so i'm just gonna bring up the ties a little bit higher so that i can still cinch it in and just make it a little bit more either loose fitting or if i want it a little bit more cinched in i can tie it in the back and voila I ended up paying the set, I think it was $55, I think is a really reasonable price. The quality was beautiful, it's brand new, it's not used, it's not secondhand. I don't think you're going to see a lot of this. I love that it's unique and fun. I am so happy, I cannot wait to wear this, but first I need to fix it. Um, so anyway, that is pretty much it, that is the whole haul, that's what I've gotten. So to be honest, I feel as though this month was a little bit more home decor since I am redoing the basement, but sometimes there's months where you have a little bit more fashion sometimes months where you're more home decor sometimes it's more beauty so that is pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this haul let me know which piece is your favorite and for uh, some of the pieces i will be putting them in the shop and also i'll leave the link to the essential oils the body scrubs and all that amazing good smelling stuff and if you want to pamper yourself and feel like a beach goddess then um go check the links down below thank you guys so much for watching thank you for all your thumbs up your comments you guys already know they mean so so much to me and i will see you in my next video so either a diy or the makeover so stay tuned love you guys i will see you in my next video Mwah. bye